Hey, have you heard of the terms joint family and single family? I saw them online and I'm not sure what they mean. Yeah, I know what they mean. A joint family is when multiple generations of a family live together in the same house or on the same property. They share resources and responsibilities. Oh, okay. So like grandparents, parents, and kids all living in the same house? Exactly. It's a common family model in many cultures around the world. And what about single family? A single family is when only one or two adults and their children live together. They don't share their home with any extended family members. Got it. So it's just a smaller family unit. Right, and it's also a common family model in many places. I see. So, what are some benefits of living in a joint family? Well, one benefit is that you have more people around to help with things like childcare and household tasks. It can also create a stronger sense of family unity and support. That makes sense. But what about drawbacks? One potential drawback is that there can be conflicts or disagreements between different generations living together. And it can be challenging to divide resources and responsibilities fairly. Okay. I understand. And what about single families? What are some benefits of that model? Well, one benefit is that there can be more privacy and autonomy for each family member. And it can be easier to make decisions since there are fewer people involved. I see. And are there any drawbacks? Yes, one potential drawback is that it can be harder for a single parent to manage all the responsibilities of the household and raising children without the support of extended family members. And it can also be more isolating for both parents and children. That makes sense. Thanks for explaining it to me. No problem. Do you have any other questions? Not right now, but I'll let you know if I do. Thanks again for the help. Anytime. Have a great day. Hey, have you ever heard of joint families before? Yeah, I have. It's when multiple generations of a family live together, right? Yes, that's right. And did you know that there are some benefits to living in a joint family? No, I didn't know that. What are some of the benefits? Well, one of the main benefits is that there are usually many people around to take care of the children and elderly members of the family. This can help to reduce the pressure on single caregivers and make it easier to manage the responsibilities of taking care of them. That's really interesting. So instead of just one person taking care of everything, there are multiple people to share the workload? Exactly. And another benefit is that living in a joint family can increase the sense of family connection and unity. Since everyone is living together and sharing resources, there can be a stronger sense of community and support. I can see how that would be true. And I imagine that having more people around can also be really helpful for things like cooking and cleaning, too. Yes, definitely. There are many tasks that can be divided up among the family members to make things easier for everyone. And having more people around can also make it more fun and enjoyable to do things together as a family. That's a good point. Are there any other benefits to living in a joint family? Well, some people also find that it can be a good way to save money. Since everyone is sharing the same resources, it can be more cost-effective than having separate households. That makes sense. But I imagine that living in a joint family could also have some challenges. Are there any drawbacks to it? Yes, that's true. One potential drawback is that there can be conflicts between different family members. When you have so many people living together, there can be disagreements and arguments from time to time. It can also be difficult to divide up resources and responsibilities fairly. I see. But overall, it sounds like there are many benefits to living in a joint family. Thanks for explaining it to me.
No problem. It's always interesting to learn about different family models and lifestyles. Hi there. Have you ever lived in a joint family before? Yes, I have. I grew up in a joint family with my grandparents, parents, and siblings. Oh, that's interesting. What did you think about it? It had its ups and downs. One of the main drawbacks was that there were often conflicts between the different generations living together. What do you mean by that? Well, each generation may have different values and beliefs, which can lead to disagreements and arguments. For example, my grandparents were more traditional and strict, while my parents and siblings were more liberal and modern. This often led to tension and conflicts between us. That makes sense. Did those conflicts ever get resolved? Sometimes, but it could be challenging. We had to learn how to communicate and compromise effectively, which wasn't always easy. It also required a lot of patience and understanding on both sides. What other drawbacks did you experience? Another issue was that it was sometimes difficult to share resources and responsibilities fairly. For example, my grandparents were retired and didn't contribute as much financially or with household chores, but they still had a say in how things were run. It sometimes felt like the burden of taking care of the family fell more heavily on my parents and older siblings. That sounds tough. Did you feel like you had less freedom or privacy living in a joint family? Yes, that was another downside. There was less privacy and space for everyone, and we had to be more mindful of each other's schedules and routines. It was also harder to make decisions independently, since everyone had to be consulted and involved in the process. I can see how that would be challenging. But were there any benefits to living in a joint family? Definitely. One of the main benefits was having a strong sense of family connection and support. We were always there for each other and could rely on one another for help and advice. And growing up in a joint family gave me a greater appreciation for the importance of family and community. That's really nice. Did you feel like there was a lot of pressure to conform to family expectations? At times, yes. There were certain cultural and social norms that were expected of us, and it could be hard to go against them. But overall, I think it was a positive experience because it helped me develop a strong sense of identity and values. That's great. What advice would you give to someone who is considering living in a joint family? I would say that it's important to have open and honest communication with everyone involved. You need to be willing to listen to each other's perspectives and be flexible in finding solutions that work for everyone. It's also important to have a clear understanding of everyone's roles and responsibilities so that no one feels like they're being taken advantage of or not contributing enough. That's really helpful advice. Thank you for sharing your experience with me. You're welcome. Living in a joint family definitely has its challenges, but I think it can also be a rewarding and fulfilling experience if everyone is willing to work together. Hi there. Have you ever lived in a single-family household? Yes, I have. I grew up with just my parents and siblings. That's interesting. What did you think about it? Well, one of the main benefits was that there were fewer conflicts and disagreements in the family. With only one or two adults making decisions and taking responsibility, it was easier to avoid misunderstandings and arguments. That makes sense. Did you feel like you had more independence and freedom in a single-family household? Yes, definitely. With fewer people to consider, it was easier to have more control over my own life and make my own decisions. I also had more privacy and space to myself. That sounds nice. Did you ever feel like you missed out on anything by not living in a joint family household? Sometimes. I think I missed out on having a strong sense of family connection and support. 
With fewer family members around, there were fewer opportunities for bonding and shared experiences. I can understand that. But do you think there are other benefits to living in a single-family household? Absolutely. For example, it was easier to focus on my own goals and interests without feeling like I was constantly being pulled in different directions by other family members. It also allowed my parents to be more involved in my life and provide more one-on-one -on -one attention and support. That's a good point. Did you ever feel like there was too much pressure on your parents to provide for the family financially and emotionally? Sometimes, yes. It can be a lot of responsibility for just one or two adults to take on. But I think my parents did a good job of balancing those responsibilities and providing for us in the best way they could. That's great to hear. Do you think single-family households are becoming more common these days? Yes, I think so. With more people prioritizing their careers and personal lives, it's becoming more common for people to delay marriage and children or to choose not to have children at all. That's an interesting point. Do you think there are any downsides to living in a single-family household? Well, there can be a sense of loneliness or isolation at times, especially if you don't have a strong support network outside of your immediate family. And there can be a lot of pressure on the parents to provide for their children without the help of extended family members. I can see how that would be a challenge. But overall, it sounds like there are a lot of benefits to living in a single family household. Yes, I think so. It has its own unique set of challenges and benefits, just like any other family model. That's a great perspective. Thanks for sharing your experience with me. You're welcome. It was nice talking with you. Hey, have you ever thought about the drawbacks of living in a single-family household? No, not really. What do you mean? Well, I think that living alone or with just one or two adults can be really lonely and isolating. You don't have the same level of social interaction and support that you might have in a joint family. Hmm, I guess I can see that. But I also like having more independence and control over my own life. Yeah, I get that. But sometimes that independence can also be a burden. For example, you're responsible for making all the decisions and taking care of everything yourself, which can be a lot of pressure. That's true. I sometimes feel like there's so much on my plate and I don't know how to handle it all. Exactly. And when you're in a single family, you also don't have as many people to rely on for help or support. It's all on you. I see what you mean. But what about family connection and a sense of unity? Doesn't living in a single family help to strengthen those bonds? Well, not necessarily. When you're living in a single family household, you're not exposed to as many different viewpoints or experiences as you might be in a joint family. And because there are fewer people, there's a higher chance of disagreements and conflicts. I see your point. I guess there are pros and cons to both types of family structures. Exactly. It's all about finding what works best for you and your family. But it's important to be aware of the potential drawbacks so that you can work to address them and build strong relationships regardless of your family structure. That makes sense. Thanks for bringing up this topic. It's given me a lot to think about. Hey, have you ever thought about whether you'd prefer living in a joint family or a single family household? Yeah, I've thought about it a bit. I think it really depends on your individual preferences and circumstances. I agree. I think for some people, a joint family can be really beneficial. You have more people to rely on for support and help with things like childcare and household tasks. That's true. But on the other hand, living in a single family household can give you more independence and control over your life. You don't have to worry about navigating different family dynamics or conflicting schedules. Right. 
And I think there's also something to be said for the sense of connection and unity that can come from living in a joint family. You're all working together towards common goals and supporting each other through good times and bad. Definitely. But at the same time, I can see how having more people around all the time could also lead to conflicts and disagreements. That's a good point. It really depends on the specific family dynamics and personalities involved. Yeah, I think that's the key. You have to figure out what works best for you and your family. There's no one-size-fits-all answer. Exactly. And it's also important to consider external factors like work and school schedules, financial resources, and access to childcare and other support. Absolutely. It's a complex decision that requires careful thought and consideration. So, what do you think you would prefer? Joint family or single family? Honestly, I'm not sure. I can see the benefits and drawbacks of both. I think it would really depend on my specific circumstances at the time. That's a fair answer. It's important to stay flexible and open-minded when it comes to these kinds of decisions. Definitely. And at the end of the day, the most important thing is to have a loving and supportive family, no matter what the structure looks like.